A day after the guilty verdict in the Derek Chauvin trial, News 6 spoke with a local resident who flew to Minneapolis just hours before that verdict was read. Yeah, he spoke with Carolina Cardona about what motivated him to show his support for George Floyd's family, community, and how he's using his voice to be a part of the change. And the fight continues on! It was emotional because you notice that all that work that went in the summer of 2020, it had a fruit. It bared a fruit and something came out of it. Tony Hilario was just outside the courthouse in Minneapolis when former police officer Derek Chauvin was found guilty for the murder of George Floyd. And we were just standing there um, showing our support and that's when the, the guy who the speaker told us and that's when the crowd just went wild. The 29 year old says since the start of Chauvin's trial, he thought about flying to Minnesota and hours after arriving in Minneapolis from Orlando, the verdict was announced. Find the defendant guilty. But prior to the guilty verdict, Tony said he felt fear that justice wouldn't be on George Floyd's side. This isn't the first time where there has been such a very strong evidence towards a police officer that has committed a crime mm -hmm. where they have gotten off. It was almost a year ago, Tony says he felt compelled to show his support after the death of Floyd by using his voice during the protests in Orlando. So I was one of the ones that marched um, throughout downtown that went to um, to the police area. But he says it was the Capitol riots of January 6th that were a turning point for him. It really, really like struck a nerve for me. It made it very evident that there is a complete difference of treatment towards people of minority, you know? Mm -hmm. And that definitely pushed me more to to, I need to do something, I need to stand up. He says he is no activist, just your average guy who chose to be part of the change instead of watching it from home. I grew up with a very conservative mindset, um, but after the few years that I've seen in front of my eyes what's been happening, my perspective has changed. My eyes have been open more. I've decided to educate myself more. And sharing that knowledge with those around him is just as important. To anyone who watches this, educate yourself as much as you can. Show empathy. Try to understand the other side and let other people know. In Orlando, Carolina Cardona, News 6.